Hi YouTube, just want to make a quick little video on some of my favorite IT apps for the iOS operating system. Right now I'm rocking down uh, iOS 9.2 something. Anyways, um, one of my favorite is the iNet. It's great for simple pings, for network scans, wake on LAN, port scanners, bonjour browser, network scanner is really nice scan a vpn hey let's scan my vpn nah let's do a normal so this will search everything within your ip range give you an idea of what you have attached what you got connected to you and if you go into it it'll give you further information of whatever is on your Wi-Fi. So if you think your neighbor hacked your Wi-Fi, that's a great way to see. Now the ping, so useful at work if I'm trying to ping like a camera that I'm installing. Let's say 192.168.0.1 Ping my access point. Yeah iNet, very good. I've been using this for a while. Not free. Not free. I think it's about two bucks, but still very nice. If you'd like a free alternative, Fing, F-I-N-G, does basically uh, the same thing. This will also scan your network. Sometimes it's best to have both of them if you're trying to identify exactly what you have connected to your network because I find these things seem to uh, to scan devices and they'll get little bits of information about what they are based on some of the electronics on the circuit boards of these systems. Now the problem is some of these electronics on these circuit boards are also on other circuit board for other things. So I've had I've had systems come up as things that they definitely weren't. Now, I might be remembering this wrong, but I think I had a Bose system, uh, audio system, come up as an Apple device once. But yeah, it's always good to double check. In fact, I'd uh, get this in iNet definitely, because this is free. Thing is free and it shows you everything you got connected. I don't believe that it has a ping option though. Nope. You can just scan, but still very cool. Very cool. Speedtest.net is also a very good uh, app to use to test uh, your ability to uh, download stuff at any given time. But you shouldn't assume that whatever speed you get with this is the top speed of the network. Because, so the iPhone 5S has uh, has N technology. This thing can't fully test the power of your Ethernet in every situation. Sometimes your your uh, net uh, your internet speed is actually faster than a Wi-Fi device can actually see. Because Wi-Fi devices can only go so fast. That's not, that's not really an issue in every case because uh, some people's internet is really slow. I'm not in the boonies, so ours is pretty slow. That's what I'm getting right now. Remember, that's megabits per second, not megabytes. A megabit is one-eighth of a megabyte. Keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind. Now Maven is an excellent app that you can use to search the internet on an iOS device and make the internet look like it should on, say, Internet Explorer, on Firefox. It makes the web pages you go to think that you are browsing with whatever you say, with Chrome, with Internet Explorer, with Firefox. It's a great app for that. Also not free. There is a free version, I believe. So 
change it. Identify browser as. You can identify it as iPad, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, Mac OS, iPhone. So let's say you want to, you need to see a page that would look a certain way in the non-mobile, in the standard way, but you can only get some silly mobile thing. This is a tool. This is the tool that you use to see it that way. Very good. Maven is good. Netmaster is a multi-tool. It's got your land scanner, your speed test, geotray, sport scanner, ping, Wi-Fi finder, wake on land, and uh, subnet calculator, all very useful things. It's the name of my cell phone, Tor, RCMP Tor Probe. All good stuff. Now definitely the most advanced app in this arsenal is Scanny. And it's a $6 app. It can scan all kinds of things, all kinds of ports. You really have to know what you're doing in order to use this. It... Uh, it's not doesn't have a really beautiful graphics interface shell, but you can scan damn near anything. I'm sure there are apps that just tell you what you can do with this. But you can scan, you can scan port numbers. You can scan a wide range of port numbers. I used this when I had to uh, scan some really obscure uh, IP numbers. Not cheap, but it's definitely helped me. Definitely helped me. But yeah, check out Scanny. Very awesome. Very awesome. And those are my favorite IT apps. Hope you enjoyed YouTube. Have a good one.